Hello, this is the video for 12th grade English for Thursday, October 1st. We started with an icebreaker. First, ask um, me if you have songs you want me to play on the playlist for First Black. And then, if you were arrested for a crime like Adnan, or just any crime, who would be your character witness? We then listened to the last part of the serial podcast, and then I looked at some documents related to Asia McLean's affidavit. Your stem today, like it has been all week, is finish one from the past that you really wanted to get done and haven't had a chance to. So let's look at our slides. So serial podcast, we get into this question of character witnesses. It's something I've been thinking about as I've been listening to Adnan that I wish so many things for that first trial of his had been done more thoroughly. But one of those things is it seemed he could have used a character witness. Character witnesses come to trial to testify to the strength of your character. The crime that you commit has to be related in some way to character, but so many crimes are. As this says here, character evidence is admissible, meaning it can be a part of the court case if it's offered by the defendant as evidence to show their own character. Here it says, as long as the character evidence is relevant to the crime with which they've been charged. For example, if a defendant is charged with a crime involving dishonesty, they may introduce evidence to show their honest character. If they're charged with a violent crime, they may introduce evidence showing their peaceful character. It seems to me Adnan could have used both things, somebody attesting to his honest character and to his peaceful character, peace, peaceable. But my question wasn't what you think about that and about Adnan. It was what would be the thing that you would want people to know and who would be your character witness. In a court case, you don't want somebody in that chair who's too biased, somebody who would love you no matter what you did, but somebody who's a little more objective, teacher, coach, a pastor. And so we spent some time thinking about hmm, who would that be? And since you're seniors, that person, whoever they are, might be a really good person to ask for a college recommendation if you're applying to college. Then we went to Serial. So I'm not going to click on this. Um, if you're watching this video, you can do it yourself. Just Google Serial 1, Season 1, plus um, Google. And listen to all of that first episode called The Alibi. And if you've been keeping up, then you might only have 20 minutes left. At the end of it, we pulled up some documents, and I'll show you how I do this so that you know what you need to do to find the episode. Serial plus season one plus podcast. The alibi. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look at season one, maps, documents, etc. After you've listened to the entire episode, come back to this video and I'll talk you through a couple of things that Sarah Koenig brings up in that part. So press pause, listen to it, come back. Okay, you're back. I want to bring up this letter. Asia McLean wrote this letter to Adnan a couple of months after he was arrested for the murder of Hay Min, Min, Min Lee. And I want to put all of the text on the screen because Sarah Koenig brings it up. But one thing Asia McLean has been accused of after this podcast came out is that she didn't do enough. I just want to defend her a little bit. She wrote this to Adnan and look at what she wrote. She asks him, why haven't you told anyone about talking to me in the library? Sarah Koenig does mention this, but not in this context. Did you think it was unimportant or did you just totally forget yourself? How long did you stay in the library that day? You will maybe have a chance to get the surveillance tape. Where exactly did you go that day? What is the evidence that my statement is up against and who are these witnesses? Right on, more. But this, I think, shows she's trying. She doesn't know the court case against Adnan. She doesn't know what he's going through in the trial. She's not privy to those conversations. All she knows is she saw him in the library. Why is nobody contacting her? 
and I think this is a really thorough attempt on her part, and even professional, she writes and types out this professional letter, to try and get him to see that she's serious about her affidavit. When she's contacted by Rabia, the lawyer who has been in this episode, immediately she signs an affidavit testifying to this. But again, she doesn't really know what she's up against. So I don't want us to walk away from the podcast thinking that Asia McLean should have done more. She did everything that she could have. Why Adnan received this and didn't do more isn't something we can really blame him for either. We don't know really fully why. We also know he did tell his lawyer and Christine Gutierrez did what she did with it. Um, the hole to me and the gap to me seems like it lives there legally. That the reasons this case fell apart for Adnan are legal reasons. So I just want to posit all of that as you think about whether or not to continue listening to this podcast. If make myself full screen here. If you like it, but you're not into the podcast format, there's an HBO series about this for episodes. It was released in the winter of 2019. So you could check out HBO. You could read Asia McLean just came out with a new book about um, her affidavit. It's called Confessions of a Serial Alibi. So there are lots of ways to encounter this story, if not using the podcast that we've been listening to. And um, that would be a choice project for us. You could earn some extra credit. Otherwise, work on your BGD. You're good if that's done, and I hope you have a great weekend.